Hey, hope you're having a lovely day today. Um, it's great to be back. Crypto Hodge here and um, another video as well. So great to be able to make these. Um, two things I wanted to talk about was Ethereum gas prices and Uniswap and Sashimi Swap. Um, so I'll start um, with the first one, with the last one, Sashimi Swap first, just to talk about that. Sashimi Swap, amazing platform. They're going to they're going to move over to the Elf network very shortly, so they won't need Uniswap at all. They'll be able to create their own LP tokens, and the price is doing amazingly well at the moment. I think it's up quite a bit, 37% or something like this. So it's up a, 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 a good amount um, from from where it was. And uh, the halving has happened, so that's great news. The supply has come down, so Sashimi so Swap is doing really well. Great community. Uh, I'll drop the links for the Telegram below um, and Discord, so please join. Um, Ethereum gas prices, I think that the moment they're at this crazy price, um, and it's really impacting everyone's ability to carry transactions out. I mean, at roughly that level of gas, uh, it's you know twenty dollars. $27 at the moment it's come down to about $20 a, um, a gas price at the moment um, so it's very congested but I really think that the price is going to come down but of course with sashimi swap it's going to be great because they're going to be able to move to their own um, network with the elf um, elf network which is going to be absolutely fantastic so uniswap I think the it's starting to come down now so the, the transaction costs are going down i mean the um, volume is going down people are starting to have already purchased their tokens and done what they want to do so that's great as well but i think the price will drop um for the gas very soon on um the um ethereum network and of course with 2.0 coming out as well very soon i think that in the throes of coming out with that and i think it's much needed at this moment in time um it is still a big issue but it has, it has, the whole Uniswap saga now has, and I think they really made a mistake by not giving tokens, Uniswap tokens, to those people between September the 1st and now, because those were the people from September the 1st to now, those are the people who really have gone into DeFi in that gap. And I was one of them coming back into DeFi in that gap. And had they probably given those tokens to those people, it could have meant that there would have been more loyalty towards Uniswap. But of course, those people didn't get any tokens. So it really, I think on their part, it wouldn't have been a big ask for them to have actually carped, to, to gone out. And their issue or concern would have been carpet baggers, which is people who know, then start to use, and then they benefit from that. I don't think that was much of a concern. I think um, it was something which um, came out the surprise for a lot of people. Some people kind of said if, maybe, but I think they should have been a bit more better with that decision. And I think it would have benefited Uniswap a lot more had they included the people who they missed out from now until the 1st of September. At least cut it back to the 15th when all the people who were interested in DeFi came in. But anyway, because they used it and um, used Uniswap. But maybe I think what probably happened is the amount of people who use Uniswap between 1st of September to um, now probably increased so much they probably thought it was too big a figure to cover. But anyway, I think they should have gone on to that and maybe reduced the amounts and done that. But I hope you like this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one, okay? Bye, guys, and on my Telegram group, I'll leave link below, so please join, and I'll see you there. Okay, have a good one. Bye.